Всем привет, друзья! Today's piece of trash that I spent good money on is an Elka 50 desktop calculator. Ooh, yes. It is quite chunky and heavy, and it uses 220 volts. Yeah, 220 volts. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Bulgaria. Hmm. 19... 1978. Yes. Okay, you know, I'm just... Talking rubbish. I know that it uses 220 because it's got the stupid, you know, the long cable. And anyway, old stuff from before that's heavy, it's because it's got iron in it, a big transformer. Um, I'm a bit disappointed by the grotty white cable that came with it. It's not very um, period accurate, but um, you yeah, know, it's something nice I could personalize later. Pop this out, put a different colored one in. I haven't switched it on yet, so I have no idea if it works yet. Okay, okay, I did switch it on. But just to see if it runs, and it does run. But other than that, I know very little about this, and I've been trying to very hard to avoid spoilers on the internet. So when I, I know that this is from 1978, the price was right, um, I know it works, and that's about it. I know it's, I don't know anything else about it. And I can also see it uses, you know, VFDs, and they look like they're little individual Nixies, like VFD, Nixies. Um, so let me show you. In fact, let's get it running. Way that we're used to of using calculators. Oh, stopped working. Oh, great googly moogly. This thing was working before, and now it isn't. Hmm? No. Oh, it was working earlier. Shucks. <gasps> it's not working anymore. Wow. Crazy. It was working earlier. Well, I'm going to have to go to eBay about that. That sucks. Okay. Anyway, let's take it apart. We're going to go inside and have a look. Oh, that's a pity. I thought it would. Maybe this is a dodgy button. That's a bit worrying. Anyway, off we go then. So, well, that was a bit, a bit worrying. Hi, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you the interior of the Elke 50. <laughs> I like that channel. See that Paul's not so chatty anymore, hey? Now that he's scared that <laughs> this thing's not gonna work. Which was a bit worrying, hey, because it really was working earlier. Now it's suddenly conked. We'll find out why. Uh, is that the end? Okay. Uh. Crikey. <gasps> I'm a bit worried about high voltage because the way I see, know it is that these uh, Nixies, oopsie, they use high voltages and I switched it on a second ago. So I might get bitten by this. Hopefully not, but let's see. Oh, okay, let's just, 
Oh, yeah, okay. Ugh. There we go. I'm so scared of this thing because it's, I know it's high voltage and... Oh, oh well. Wow. It's quite pretty inside. Oh, well, it's much simpler than the, the NK52 though. There's like, um... Sure. So, so it's just using like um, solid chips, um, kind of hand drawn, you know, PCB traces, the old stuff. Um, wow. Sure, like actually plastic little transistors. I wonder if those are original. Maybe they've been replaced. I, I somehow didn't think they'd use, you know, these kind of ones in 1978. It must be like tin can versions. And they've been, you know, fixed. Ooh, but this here. Oh, 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 what's this? <sighs> wow. Oh, okay, that's just dis was disconnected. Jeez, I hope so. Anyway, Joe, big chunky transformer over there. And the Nixies. Hmm. I'm still a bit disconcerted by the fact that it didn't work. Hmm. Should I? Ah, let's let's plug it in. You know, it flat seems to flash when I plug it in, and when I switch it. But I don't know. Ooh, I'm gonna get killed here. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> That's metal. I don't want to touch it. All right. Let me not be a wuss. Let me. Okay. I'm gonna switch it again. Plug it in. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, there we go, lit up. I don't know what that was about. Let me actually switch that off. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, my eyes aren't fast enough to tell if that flickering was... Okay, it is flickering. It's not the... Um... Oh, it is the camera picking up. There is a bit of flickering, but I think that's the camera. Not... My eyeballs. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm at a loss of words. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, that's really nice. Okay, I'm relieved it's working. Beans back in Paul's stride, or whatever you, you say. So, what's going on here? What are these? What is this? Oh! Oh! These are, oh, these are, oh, these are mag, oh, what is going on here? These are magnets? Oh, these are, oh, the switches are not mechanical. They are, um, they're reed switches. They're electrical reed switch, uh, magnetic reed switches. Huh. So what's going on here? Are we, all right, I'm still plugged in. I'm going to plug. Okay. That's off. Okay, so without getting killed... So, oh, they, fun they, they function like this. So, you can hear that little click, that little metallic click. That's the sound of the, the magnet as it moves away, the reed, reed switch opens. Huh, very weird. That's nice because that means that the, these, this switching panel will last forever. There's like pretty much no wear and tear. Well, except in this piece, but the actual switching component has like no wear and tear. That's crazy. That's really nice. I wonder why they did that. There was this little um, panel holder floating around also like that. I think it came from here. 
I wonder if that was actually maybe causing issue with the power supply. Huh, so let's see, can we go deeper? Okay, long ribbon cable. Wow, they don't make ribbon cables like this anymore. All these connectors for them. So nothing really on the bottom. It's, yeah, it's quite a simple thing. Nice big fat chunky resistors, some caps, some some transistors. Yeah, no smells. I don't know much about these um, VFDs. They are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine segment. The nine segment, and I'm wonder if they've got. They've probably got decimal points. Yeah, they've got decimal points too, so 10, 10 pieces. What's a bit interesting is that the, the these things are in different, sort of, they've all got slightly different colors. So I wonder if this, that's with heating or something. All right, how do you unplug this? I want to open up and have a look inside the, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Wow. They're cute. They're like little octopuses. You see what I mean about the discoloration? This one is like a metal um, plate in there. I don't know what I'm looking at. Is it? Yeah, it's a metal plate, and it's a bit discolored, like a bluish color, whereas this one is like a nice brass color. Yeah, I actually haven't tested it properly, but that's a that sort of suggests that there's been some overheating going on inside. Yeah, what about these chips? AD22, AD22, AD21, AD26. Yeah, I'm going to do some Googling about that. And the switching devices. Let's have a look at these. I don't want to hurt them, but. Uh... Hmm, nothing. They're like sort of just a. Oh, they've got no markings. I'll show you. The. Out hurting anybody. See over there, that one. It's got no marking. Right? Focus. Focus. Hey, focus. Is it focused? Yeah. Yeah, it's got no markings. That's kind of weird. So these are sort of like no name brand transistors. So that's how we got these to activate the actual the actual Nixie, and then, you know, the, the actual different segments. Um, not too, too, nothing too fancy in here. So, that's it really. There's actually not too much here. Um, it's nice to see the inside of it. I know it's quite cool to see the, the reed switches, you know, magnetically actuated, plus the, the, the series of VFDs. Um, I probably could end up tracing this a bit and seeing if the segments are all common to each other to a certain switch and then the individual enable also gets its own transistor switch. I'm probably going to make another video. Um, seeing as I'd like to now modify this and, you know, give it my sort of atmosphere. For my atmosphere, what will I do? I'm going to add... I probably will... Um, yeah, this can't really come out too easily, but I'll definitely clean this up or remove everything. I don't like this kind of this cable that's been put in here. I'd prefer if we could use this actual connector rather. But I mean, you know, it works. But yeah, if I could get this to work, 
that'd be nice just for a bit of you know aesthetics what else could one do I mean, it'd be nice to actually hack into the the way that this thing is um firing to the the vfds and see how it does it and then with that figure out how that sequence works what voltages it's at um there's not really much potential for putting an arduino into into this thing it's it's a rather just mind its own business um but it's a nice it's i think it's going to be a nice thing to have on the de on the, my desktop and i really use you know it hasn't got reverse polish notation which really stumped me before this is just using a normal you know nothing surprising the normal notation that we use the normal way of inputting and doing arithmetic um, so there's nothing shocking here so um, that's it really um, I mm, I don't have anything else to say about it I, I was actually a bit shocked at how simple it was you know nothing too fancy I mean the, the MK52 is a lot more going on this is much more simple but probably because you know it's not a programmable calculator it's just a desktop calculator used for you know shop or, or you know at, at home nothing fancy so therefore there's nothing fancy but I like the the VFDs and this has been was really interesting um, do, do they still make keyboards that that use magnetic read switches like this I know that they're using ones that do Hall effects. Maybe that's that's my own answer, yeah. But I, I doubt they'd use read switches like this, right? It's very very interesting. I wonder why they did this. You know, maybe if you, if you know anything, um, you can you know, write something in the comments. You know, I know there's a lot of Russian uh, people who, and who know so much about this stuff. But as I said, the the MK52 gathered all kinds of you know geekism. I don't know if this really gathered the same kind of um, nostalgia, but it's a it's a cute calculator. I'm going to look forward to having it on my desk, but especially once I do some mods to it, you know, change the color and so on. All right, that's it for for today. Um, subscribe if you've never seen my channel before. Um, give me some encouragement with the comments. Say something funny. Say something rude. Say something rude and funny, and um, check out my website also electronicsdeli.net Thanks very much. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.